Hey everyone, this is Linnea Lucan from the Heartland Institute here with another climate fact check. In this video, I'm going to talk about sea level rise and whether or not it poses an existential threat to coastal communities. Global sea level has risen more than 400 feet since the end of the last ice age, which is what sea level does as ice retreats in the period between ice ages as ice sheets decline. This rise continues through today. Since the mid-1800s, global sea level has risen about one foot per century, or a little less than an inch per decade. There is some debate considering whether there has been a slight acceleration in sea level rise in recent decades. The present rate of rise is not nearly as dramatic as some of the doomsday claims made by the mainstream media. NASA satellite readings that date back to 1993 show that sea level is rising at a pace of just 1.2 inches every decade. Older records from tide gauges show a rate of about one foot per century, meaning that the present rate of rise is similar to what occurred in previous centuries. This rate is hardly an existential threat. You might hear about certain locations that have a much faster or much slower or even reversed rate of sea level rise. This is true and is due to local unique conditions like tectonic plate movement, aquifer depletion that causes land sinking, and the difficulties with managing developed areas like New Orleans that sit on naturally unstable ground like river deltas, rather than climate change. As far as human contribution to sea level rise, it appears to be pretty minor. Even if we assume the modest increase in recent sea level rise is a real trend rather than a short-term variance, and even if we attribute all of the recent increase to humans, human activity is accounting for just three-tenths of an inch per decade, or three inches per century. Humans have adapted quite well to rising seas throughout the past two centuries. Cities and towns that were on the coast in the mid-1800s remain intact on coastlines today, despite nearly two feet of sea level rise since then. And that was with only 19th and 20th century technologies available. With today's 21st century technologies, we should be able to adapt even easier to slowly rising seas. That's all I have for this fact check. For the sources used as reference for this video, you can check out climateataglance.com, where you can also download a free copy of the book Climate at a Glance for Teachers and Students. If you prefer paper, you can purchase a hard copy on Amazon. We also have an app available called Climate at a Glance for Android and iPhone. Thanks for watching.